Yeah, tonight we are doing permutation and combination. So let's start with permutation. <coughs> what is permutation? Permutation is the number of arrangements of an item. That means anytime we are talking about arrangements, we are talking about permutation. For example, if we have a b c how many ways can i arrange these letters a b c now do you know this is one arrangement so we can also have a c b as in scatter it anyhow we can have b c a <coughs> we can have b a c we can have C, A, B. We can have C, B, A. So how many ways in total? There is no other way you can arrange this again. Is there? So how many ways do we have in total now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means the number of ways you can arrange the letters of the word A, B, C is 6 ways. Now, the essence of permutation is to have a way of arranging this without actually listing everything out. That is the essence of permutation. Now, before we start, let us see if you see this symbol, like exclamation mark, this symbol is called factoria. So if I write something like two, like this, this means two factorial. If I write this, this means seven factorial. If I write this, this means ten factorial. If I write this, this means eight factorial. Now, how can we express a number in a factorial form? So let's start with this one. Now, 2 factorial is the same thing as 2 times 1. 7 factorial is the same thing as 7 times 6. So the number will be decreasing by 1, 1, like that. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 10 factorial will be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 now you notice the number decrease 1 by 1 now what is 8 factorial now, 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, <clears throat> in this sense, you can easily see now that any number in factorial to express it in number, it will be going down one by one. Likewise, 4 factorial will be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So the number will be decreasing one by one. So now, let us see how we can now use it to arrange something like this. So let's have a question. Let's have a question to start with. So let's say in how many ways in how many ways can't in how many ways can the letters of the word 
A, B, C, B arrange. In how many ways can the letters of the word A, B, C be arranged? Now, we have already known it is six ways here. But let us now use factorial form. Now, the given word is A, B, C. Now, since the word is A, B, C, look at the letters. Are they the same? No, it's obvious that we have A separate. We have B separate and we have C separate. So how many letters you have all together? So total letters, if you count one by one. So total letters is one, two, three. So we have three letters in total. Uh, in total. So the total number of ways will be three factorial. Again, to arrange the letters of the word A, B, C, Using factorial form, count the letters one by one. That is one, two, three. Meaning we have three letters. Now put factorial at the back. So now, in how many ways can we arrange the letters of the word A, B, C? So the answer is three factorial ways. What is now three factorial? That will be three times two times one, which is what? Six ways do you see that it tallies with this one now that the number of ways we can arrange the letters of the word a b c so that is six ways that means instead of arranging this way then we can easily use this factorial notation so let us now solve general question now as we have, have the idea so let's see 